Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One back here. This is one of the guys in my group. This is Brian. Um, this is his camper. Everybody's always asking all the time about this camper over on the side, the camper on the side. So this is his camper, and he has, and people have asked about this too, so I will mention it really quickly, the solar panel over here. So we've had that there, and that basically has been charging his batteries in the camper. So we're going to explain actually what is going to happen. So uh, what was that, a 100 watt solar panel? It's 200 watt. 200 watt solar panel. Okay, so we're going to take that 200 watt solar panel, and he has another one as well, and we're going to take those, and we're going to put them on the very end of the thing here for the solar rack, to fill in the end of the solar rack, okay? So what we're going to do for those two panels, those two panels are not going to be connected with the rest of the system. There's going to be a line that comes underground from there back over to here, and I realize it's a long run, but that's the best production for power that he's going to get, and we have the room on the end of the solar rack. And so we're going to put those panels there, run it back here, put it into the camper, and then he'll have a decent amount of power for the camper, you know, for when they come up. Now, uh, he picked up this camper actually down in town, and he got a really good deal on it. And we won't tell you what the deal was, but he got a really good deal on the camper. Uh, so it had some water damage in the ceiling, so he had pulled uh, the whole ceiling out. So what he's going to do now is actually we're going to, he's got the tires in the back of his vehicle here. Um, we're gonna, he's going to take the camper with him for right now, and he's going to be redoing stuff at his his, his house where he's at and get it finished off, and then he's going to be bringing the camper back. So, Brian, I'll let you take over. Tell them what you've done already, so, like, you know, with outside and what you did inside and stuff like that, and then what you plan on doing. All right. Well, um, the corner on all four corners separated, probably just because it's an old trailer. Um, so I just, right now I just added some aluminum to hold it. I'll fix that, and there's probably some wood behind here that's rotted gonna have to replace that uh, tires are junk so but they're gonna come back off when it comes here anyway uh, inside I ripped out the whole ceiling and insulation because there was a leak and some of the woods rotted so I have to replace that but when I do we, we got we have a rubber roof that's gonna go over top of the aluminum so that'll keep that sealed remove all those stupid vents that always leak in every single camper um, just going to put sheet metal over it, cover over it with the rubber roof. And then, instead of regular pink insulation, we're going to use rock saw insulation like Ed used for the chicken coop and I think for your house. Yeah, for the house too, yep. Um, that, uh, I think that's, is that four inches thick? Yes. So I'll have to probably pull that apart and make it two inches up here, or maybe just compress it a little. I would compress it, yeah. Yep. So, that'll be nice there. Possibly underneath, unless they make a skirting, 2x4s with more rocks all underneath. I would do that anyway, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because if, if I would, even if you do put skirting on it, just because when you get up in the morning, then that way the floor is not going to be ice cold if you have that extra insulation. Because even though, like right now, our floors, I haven't finished the floors in there and it's just the plywood, uh, yeah. they're warm as can be in the wintertime. Hmm. Cool. Well, the inside, which trashed at the moment because I ripped the ceiling apart. Yeah, um, so I don't know how well, yeah, you can see. Yeah. Um, I'm going to replace whatever's rotted and squishy like this. Replace that and then paint everything white like I did my other camper so that's a little bit brighter in here. Right. And then right now I have a couple batteries under that seat that I'm going to replace with some bigger batteries, maybe some 6 volt batteries. Maybe some lithium um, iron phosphate batteries just to keep it charged. I'm, I'm debating on not doing that because I don't really want to put a heater on them for the winter to right. charge. So I might just use lead acid. Right. And then in these little windows, I plan on putting a fan with metal dampers. Gotcha. So when the fan turns on, you know, when it's too hot in here or there's too much humidity, it'll just automatically turn on, take from the batteries, and blow the heat out and the humidity out. To keep it from getting humid in here. Right. And with the solar panels charging the batteries all the time, it won't really matter. It okay. won't take any power at all. So you got, you got, there's one bed up here, guys. Okay. So this is a bed up here. You got the couch here that opens up and can also turn into a bed. Yep. Okay. Um, you got your 
small kitchen sink area. That's a bed. Right, you got your, your uh, cook stove here and it's got a little oven. Uh, you got a bed here. There is this side and there's the other side too, yeah, right? there's a bunk bed in the back with two and then there's this one bed here. So okay, so on the back side, if, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll kick around it. through here. Of course. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this okay, but there's a bed there. And then there's the bed up here, and then a bed on this side here. Yeah, there's enough light you guys can see. But uh, So there's plenty of places in here to sleep. Um, it's a good little bug out oh, thing. So you got one, two, three, you got four here, five, and then six. So six places to sleep. This could fit two people. Uh, you could put two people up there. That does that pull out or yeah okay so that pulls out so you could probably put two people there so you can get quite a few people in the camper if you had to um, again you don't want to over have too many people in the area but yeah so he had pulled this whole ceiling out and so that's why everything is a mess right now uh, but uh, so yeah he's gonna we'll here we'll step back out the bathroom is oh yeah yeah well, well see if you can... I don't know how well you can see this guys but. Uh... No, they can't really see it. Yeah. But there's a bathroom right here, and it's got a little stand-up shower in there and a toilet, so... And that will be converted to a composting toilet, because then we don't have to worry about septic tank and all that. We can just use it, you know, as compost. Right, absolutely. So, really, I mean, you know, you get something like this, change that to a composting toilet, the water from the sink and the shower could just go straight onto the ground because it's just gray water it's not black water right um and then you just need solar power and a feed of water right which i mean if you dig yourself a, a shallow well well we got like i said we got the springs right over here mm -hmm. um there's water all over the place up here so there's not that's not even an issue um and even if we had to run a line from the well over here that we have in you know that will work as well so actually, I was going to show you guys something else too. So anyway, so this is what's going on um, with his camper, and that's what he's doing. So you're going to see it out of here. You're going to be like, "Hey, where'd the camper go?" So that's where it's gone. He's going to work on it um, while he's home because he's got. He's, it's harder for him to get up here all the time uh, to the property from his location where he lives, and so he's going to work on it at home, and then he's going to bring it back up here. And and it, it's it'll be a good thing to have knowing that you have something to bug out to. Uh, something you know, you're gonna said you're gonna put like a small wood stove in here too, right? Yeah, I'm going back and forth about that. I have those the two diesel heaters, right? But I'd like to use a wood stove in that old furnace spot. If I take that furnace out and that thing there and put aluminum around, I can run the the wood stove's chimney out the side and, and up, up, right? Um, so then I wouldn't penetrate the, the roof and right. another leak there, right? Right. But I'm uh, just keep. I'm always afraid of you know start the camper on fire because campers don't really shouldn't have a wood stove so. right well if you went with something small you know a small stove they they have those that you can get them online um that would heat the camper up pretty good and in that way you know that'd be a nice way to be able to stay warm especially in the winter time mm -hmm. but like i said he plans on insulating the crap out of everything guys so um and again when he comes back up he's going to put skirting around here and what he's going to end up doing when he comes back up these tires are all going to be off and everything's going to be jacked up and leveled out so yeah. That's uh, that's how he's going to do that. So, all right. So I wanted to show you guys one more thing here. While I uh, so I checked my holding tank earlier today, and I saw that we were down a little bit as far as water in the storage tank. So I wanted to show you. So I turned on um, the pump in the well. Oh, three four minutes maybe. I had it going, and then I turned it off. And I want to show you this because this is the cool thing about our well. Um, it just needs that boost sometimes. And I don't know if you can hear that. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull this off. Okay. So um, that is doing it all on its own. There's no, nothing is pumping that out. Nothing is making that go other than it's going on its own. So that's what it does. And then it'll fill that tank up uh, over the top of the pipe and then the storage tank will be completely full once again. So 
that's kind of cool that it does that. Now when I turn the pump on, when I turn the pump on, um, it's flowing out of there. I mean, it's really coming out of there. So, but once I turn that pump off, and it'll, it'll just, it, for whatever reason, it just kicks in, and it does it on its own. And like I said, that's doing it completely. It's all gravity fed at that point. So it just slowly trickles in there and fills back up, and it works out fantastic. So anyway, so a lot of people did have questions about the camper um, and stuff like that and why we had the other camper over here. But yeah, that's, that's Brian's camper. And so he's going to take it right now um, and get it squared away. And then we're going to, you know, go ahead and do that. So that's what's going on. Um, just wanted to do, uh, it's, it's still, actually I should tell you the date here. This will be, actually this will end up being like the third video. But uh, today it's still Tuesday, August 6th, 2019. So uh, we did have a rain shower come through, and it was brief, and now it's over. And uh, so I will be doing one more video today. Uh, this one may not go up until tomorrow, so I just wanted to share this one with you. So I may save this one and put this up tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. So anyway, guys, um, again, um, I just want to real quickly remind everybody, August 17th, uh, at Letchworth State Park in New York State at Eddie's Pavilion, we are going to be having the prepper get-together, and that is going to start at 9 o'clock in the morning, and we have the pavilion until 10 o'clock at night, okay? Again, somebody will be home at the homestead all day long, so there's not going to be a time when the, the house is not occupied or somebody's here keeping an eye on things. Uh, so if you want to come, just let me know. Everybody's welcome to come. I would just ask that you bring a dish to pass, okay? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Uh, so it's really, really important to tell people that you love every day how you feel. Also, guys, remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Freaking bugs. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from getting there is yourself. Okay? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And I'll end it with looking at the chickens one more time.